Log in to Power Store Manager, username admin and password. Once you're logged in, on the top right hand side, choose settings. On the left hand side menu, go to support and under support, choose the gather support materials option. Here you can see a listing of all previous log files gathered and to run a log file gather now, choose the gather support materials option. On the right hand side, you have description that's optional if you would just like to give it a description. Under object type, you can choose the type of objects you want to collect. In our case here, we're going to choose the appliances. You can choose all appliances or you can choose them individually. There is an option to send the materials to support when finished. This is requires support assist. If you do not have support assist, then it will not be able to send the materials to support automatically. The advanced support material options you can leave cleared unless support asks for this. Selecting the advanced support options greatly increases the size of the support material files. So only choose this option when instructed to do so by your support representative. And press start. The process can take up to 60 minutes, as you can see on the top right of the screen, depending on the size of the system. You can monitor the progress in the job section of Power Store Manager or within the support material section. There are options to filter, show and hide columns, export data, and refresh data on the previous log files that you have listed. You can also order them by date by just clicking on the top. Ordering by date here shows the most recent log update and it says upload successful. Now I want to download. If I choose it, I get the download option. It asks me to select the file to download. After logging in via SSH as user service in the Power Store node, the command you can use to run the log collection from CLI is SVC underscore DC minus H help will show you all the options available to you for that command. The same can be done for the SVC underscore DC run and minus H will give you all the options you can use when you run the command. The run command can be run against an individual appliance or uh, more than one appliance. And the default is all appliances. If you want to specify a single appliance, then it's the minus A option A1 and then comma A2, A3, depending on how many appliances you are getting the information from. The there are different types of profiles that can be collected as well, This, as shown in the previous GUI. The default is essential, but you can also list profiles. So SVC underscore DC space list underscore profiles can show you the essential detailed hypervisor control path heap dump and NAS. Usually essential is default and that is what is normally collected. Support may at some time ask you to collect a different version if more detailed information is needed. In this command, we have just run against the first appliance, A1. This can take up to an hour. Once the log has collected and you're back to the command prompt, you can list to see all previous um, log collections that have been gathered. And each log collection, as you can see from here, has its own unique ID. Using the unique ID, you can SVC underscore DC list and drill down and see more detail in regards that particular log file bundle collection. So it will show you things like the um, success, the date, the time, the size, and where it is. Thank you for watching.